Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Rhiannon and I run Drawn by Rhiannon, which is a fabric design company where I design fabric and I make all little homeware items and accessories, which I sell online through my website and also in stockists around the UK. I also do a lot of craft markets where I sell my items, so that is what brings us on to today's video where I thought I would give you a quick rundown on the most important things to take to a craft market. doing fairs and events for about five years now and over those years I've built up a sort of understanding of the best things to bring with me whether it's stuff that's like useful for actually doing your job but also other things that you might not have thought about but honestly really really handy things so if you're new to doing craft markets and you're sort of wondering where to start wondering what to bring with you then this is the video for you so I hope you find it useful please give it a like if you do and let's get started so first of all, I would say one of the most important things to have at a craft market, especially these days in the COVID era, is a card machine. So I use a, a Zettel machine, there's loads of different ones you can use, but I find this one really easy to use. It's got a great app that comes with it that I can link in with my website. So when I sell something at a craft market, it automatically takes it off my website as well, so I don't accidentally double sell something. So these are really handy little machines, I know most people these days want to pay with card or on their phone or whatever, so you're really going to lose out on sales if you don't have a card machine. They're not expensive, I think this was like £20 and they just take a very small cut percentage, but they're definitely worth having because I think like probably about 90-95% to of my sales are on card these days, so just think of all those sales you'd be missing if you didn't have a card reader. Going along with that, I would highly recommend getting a little power bank. So sometimes you'll be indoor events and you'll have space to charge up, but quite often you don't either. There's not power socket near you or quite a lot of fairs will charge extra to use power. So it's just worth having a little power bank. Um, I just got this from b and I think it was like eight pounds or something. Um, but yes, yeah, so now that my card reader is getting a little bit older, if it's a busy day at a market, the battery doesn't quite last all day. So this is just really handy just to keep the battery going on the card reader and also on your phone if you've not got a very good battery on your phone really handy to have one of these they're super lightweight really slim little things really easy to pack and take along with you so when you're using your card reader when you pop it into the app what's sold it will store all that information for you but personally i find it really useful to just have it all written down as well so i always like to take this little notebook with me where i write down everything that's sold so that i can keep a running tally of how we're doing and see what's the most uh, best selling item that day um, and it's always just handy to have a little bit of paper with you whether you might need to write down um, maybe some information that um, a customer wanted to know more about or if someone wants to do a custom order you can take their details down um, or anything like that really it's just always handy to take paper and pen with you and although it is really important to have a card reader I would still recommend taking some change with you the odd person still gonna want to pay with cash and I think especially if you sell sort of lower priced items people can sometimes get a little bit funny about putting just like a pound or two on their card so if you just sell like little stickers or little badges or anything like that I would recommend just taking a bit of cash with you I usually take about 20 30 pounds worth of change with me just in case very rarely use it these days but just on the odd occasion that someone does want to pay with cash you're going to be ready to have their change for them. Another thing that is really important, especially these days, is to take a little bottle of hand sanitizer with you. So I used to take this with me even before COVID, but you definitely want to have one these days. You know, if you're handling cash or you're wanting to eat in between anything, it's just really good to have this on hand so that you're ready to go, be nice and clean, and you don't have to worry about getting all contaminated and everything. If you're doing craft markets but you also have a website or you're on social media, I would highly recommend bringing some leaflets or business cards or a QR code that people can scan so that they can find you online. So I've got these leaflets that I actually use for when I'm posting orders, they've got like a little space on the back where I write a thank you note when people order something online. But I just have these um, tanned out at craft markets because sometimes people are just having a little browse, maybe they're not sort of looking for anything in particular at the moment, but you know, they're sort of thinking ahead for presents in the future. So it's really good that they've got your information there, they've got the website, or they can literally just follow you on social media if nothing else, if they just want to show their support. It's important to think about how your customers are going to take away your products at the end of the sale. So it might be if you do small items that you just want to have some little paper bags that you fold it up into. Or if you've got bigger items, it's worth getting some little carrier bags printed or even just some plain ones, pop a sticker on it. 
um, but it just gives that sort of level of professionalism um, and it's something they can remember you by and as well when people are walking around and if they've got a carrier bag that's got your logo on it's kind of like promoting you while they're going around as well so I think I've shown these in videos before but I've got these little uh, paper carrier bags just print my logo on it and then a pop a leaflet and a newsletter sign up card inside so they've got all the information they need to sort of remember me after the event and then it just looks really cute as well when you're doing craft markets, I would always highly recommend trialling out your store layout beforehand because there is nothing more stressful than arriving at an event and not knowing how all your products are going to lay out. So definitely prepare your store layout beforehand, know where everything's going to go, know what your props are, but then also remember to take sort of like what if items with you. So I always take, got a ball of string, got some wire just in case anything sort of starts to fall down over the course of the day and then I always take some blue tack and some tape with me as well sometimes price labels fall off sometimes just things start coming apart during the course of the day so it's really handy to have these items just on standby just in case anything starts to fall apart because nothing ever, <laughs> ever goes to plan I swear I also got these little clamps from Halfords I think it was they're just little clamps I think they were like 250 or something for a pack of six but they're actually really strong even though they're only small and um, I use these to hold the banner up on my stall but again these would be great to hold price signs on or to um, peg your tablecloth around if it's sort of like flailing a bit so yeah these were a really good little investment something handy to take with you as well and finally the most important thing to take with you is snacks I just, I cannot stress this enough, take snacks, take loads of drinks, because you never know what food and drink is going to be available at the market, like even if they say there's going to be food, there might be a last minute cancellation or anything like that, so unless I am absolutely certain that I can pick up food on the way or pop out for lunch, then I always take food and drink with me. Especially water, I don't know, I don't know if it's just talking to people all day, but I just get so thirsty. So I usually take about two litres of water, about a litre of pop as well in different cans, um, just to make sure that I'm definitely hydrated enough throughout the day. Because there's nothing worse than trying to have a conversation with someone and your throat's all dry and you just can't get your words out properly. So yeah, make sure you are well hydrated and that you don't go hungry. And yeah, I would definitely recommend having a combination of sweet and savoury snacks because you never know what you're going to be in the mood for. And yeah, sometimes you just really need that little bit of boost of energy from a nice little snack to keep you going. If you're new to markets, the main thing to remember is just to have fun. Get out there, talk to people, talk to your customers, talk to the other stall holders. It's just so lovely to chat to people who are in the same kind of boat as you as a small business owner. And I've made some of my best friends up here from doing craft markets. So yeah, just go out there, enjoy it. I can tell you from years of experience that markets are so up and down, you never quite know how they're gonna go. But you just go in, hope for the best, try your best and have a good day. I hope you found these tips useful. If you have, please give this video a like and drop a comment down below if you think there's anything that I've missed off this list. I'll also pop a link in the description for all my upcoming events if you want to come and see me in real life and come and buy some stuff in person. Um, I've got lots of events coming up so check out the link in the description there to find out where I'm going to be. Thanks for watching, click here to subscribe and click here for another video. I hope you're all having a lovely day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!